All right, guys, welcome back to Craftonomical FTB Revelation something. Uh, it's getting, it's blurred, and I don't know what's going on. But guys, we're gonna get right into, um, I don't know what Nargath is talking about again. Uh, we're gonna get right into Trichotic Evolution, guys. We're gonna set up this fusion crafter today, uh, and I actually accidentally crafted up, um, eight of those, and I only needed one, um, uh, so derp on my part. Um, we're gonna need to craft up these basic infusion injectors, I think, so I think we need eight. This is what we need eight of. Eight, there we go. Okay, and then, let's see here. I think we just put power into that, so let's grab our power cell. Power cell. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay, and then we'll make up one of these guys. Okay, I should have made this before, but oh well. Um, so we're gonna go back to resonant. Yeah, we got enough. We got plenty. So let's go on over here. Let's go. Oh yeah, and we're not using the lava power anymore. I've ruled that out, guys. So pretty cool. We're using the um, the with or the Nether Star farm we set up the end end of last episode. And if you didn't see that, well, you should have watched the end of the last episode. Ha. Huh. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry for that. That was weird. Um, but let's get building here. So it needs to be like like this, and then I think we place it like that. Okay. So in the book, you got like one, two, three, four, maybe five blocks away. Those are generators on the back of that, just in case you were wondering. Oh, do they have anything below that? Uh, they just do you need that uh, I don't know I didn't see that in butcher's base so we're just gonna not do it uh, and then we're gonna place it here like so fusion crafting and then let's see we went one two three one two three so here like so all right now uh, I'm actually gonna make a second one of these off camera, uh, but then like so, and then we can break these blocks. No need to worry about them. And then we're gonna place these resident flux ducts here, so they each get power. And I believe you have to transmit power through the back. Let's go out on all sides. Yeah. Okay. Oh wait. What? Is it through the side? Huh. How do you get power into that? That doesn't make any sense. What if we place this right on the back of it? Nope. Hmm. It's rejecting us. It's rejected us, guys. Give me a moment. I'm going to see what's going on. All right, guys, so Nargath came over and he helped us out and he let me know that uh, these only um, have power in them when they start to craft. So what I want to do right now is I want to upgrade those right off the bat because he said they're going to be really slow. So let's go ahead and see about upgrading to the, like, the tier 2 of them. I'm just going to make another 8 here. Now to make the tier 2, we need a wy wyvern core. So we'll grab 8 of these. I grab 9. Jeez, can't count. Okay, so we're gonna need those. We're gonna need the draconic cores. Actually, we'll need 16 of those. And then draconium blocks. All right, and then diamonds. Perfect, that's easy. So let's see here. So if we go like this and we put, oh, look at, oh geez. Okay, so let's try this instead. So if we, yeah. All right. So those are going there. And then we need... Just like so. So let's try doing it this way. I don't know if we're going to be able to. I don't let you do one. Oh, geez. There goes a the full stack. Uh, okay. Whoa, whoa, dude, totally radical. Whoa, it's zappy. 
charging. Does it do something cool? Does it hurt you? Nah, it doesn't hurt. Whoa. Holy cow, this is awesome. Look at it, guys. You stupid bat, I'm trying to watch it. So cool. So let's try doing that with these. Perfect, okay. So I'm gonna finish up these other ones, guys. It's gonna keep doing this and I will be back once they're done. Guys, this is such a cool mod. I absolutely love what they've done with it. Even though it's a lot more advanced than it used to be, it is super cool. Look at that, we're done. All right, that's the last of them. So let's grab these back um, and let's see about replacing them. Why does it sound like I'm getting XP from these? I have no idea. But anyway, there we go. What the heck? Okay. There we go. Those are all good to go. Uh, let's, let's see about crafting up a Draconium block now. So we're going to need Draconic Core, Dragon Heart, and Draconic Core. So I think I used up all of my Draconic Cores or put them back. So let's go grab some more. We're going to need Core. Uh, here we go. Perfect. We might need this, so I'm going to take it with me. All right. So let's see here. We're going to need two and then this guy. All right. And then what are we going to need on the other side? All draconic cores. Okay, that seems pretty simple. All right, and let's see here. Oh man, this is gonna take a while to charge up. Um, okay, let me come back when this is all taken care of, all right? All right guys, so they finished crafting up here. If we look here, we got eight of them now, so just go like so. I don't know how I had some extra in there. But now we've got those in our system, so let's see here about making some tools, maybe, or even the armor. Um, so let's see. So we need to make some of these awakened cores. So we're going to need some um, awakened draconium. Uh, what else are we going to need to make? Uh, wyvern cores. Okay, we'll just make a stack. Or we can't make a stack. So... Make two stacks of these, and then we'll make a few more of these. Okay. And then we should be good to go after that. I'll grab some more nether stars. We got 5,300 of them. As you can tell, no shortage on our end. Okay. So let's see here. How much is how much power is this going to take? Uh, only 9 million. Okay, so 1, 2, 3. Wait, what? Wait, hold up. Had, whoa, that has five, and there's only four slots. Um, huh. Injectors use more advanced recipes, whatever tools and armor. Is there something I'm supposed to know about that? <laughs> um, let's see here. Let me do some research. Give me one moment, guys. All right, guys, so it turns out you can actually have these uh, in the middle, too. So I went ahead and added one on each side. Uh, so now we should be able to start crafting it up. Let's see here. Just make sure everything's going good. Yep, everything's going good. So I'm going to wait for this to craft up, guys, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so we got our first Awakened Core. Super duper sweet. But we're not, we're not done there, guys. We're going to see if we can upgrade our pickaxe now. We're going to start there. 
So let's see, in order to upgrade the pickaxe, we're going to need a draconium uh, energy core. So that should be pretty easy. I believe it's a draconium, is that right? Yeah. So let's see, can we just craft that? No. So we need some, oh, we need some of these. So we need four of those. Aha, perfect. All right. So we need that, and I believe that's all we need to make this thing. Okay, so let's see again. We need to put um, Awakened Core and then the Draconium Core over here. Now, I don't think it matters which side these are on, so that's good. Uh, and then, oops, not that one. And then on the other side was two Draconium Ingots. So let's see about that. Oops. Try that. All right, and then now, hmm, pedestal tier too low. What do you need for that? Oh, draconic. So we need, we need these guys, the wyvern. Wait, so we need to upgrade these? Hmm, darn it. Okay, um, I'm gonna have to go ahead and upgrade these, I guess. Um, so let me do that off camera. Uh, you saw the recipe, guys. It's pretty simple here. Uh, so I just need a draconium block, and this will probably take a while. So give me just one moment. All right, guys, so I got the draconium ones here. As you can see, they are looking pretty snazzy. And now we can start to craft this up. So it actually doesn't take a whole lot of power as much as I thought anyway. So that's always a good thing. Um, so here we go. Oh, that looks interesting. Oh, they went into four instead. Um, perfect. Okay, and then to upgrade it to this, we need another Awakened Core. Okay, ooh, look at that. We're going straight to Staff of Power, though. Um, oh, we're gonna need, we're gonna need more, so I don't think we can go to Staff of Power quite yet. Uh, but let's see if we can upgrade our bow. Can we do that? Yep, we sure can. Okay, so this will work. So we need four cores and five draconium. Five, okay, so we're gonna place these over here. All right. And then, was it four cores? Nope, we did something wrong. What did I do wrong? Okay. Um, oh, hold up. It's supposed to be a nether star. There we go. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> Don't shift click. That's a bad idea. Uh, but while that's crafting up, guys, we're going to go over here and make one of the other, uh, I think it's the Awakened Draconium Core. All right, here, or Draconium Energy Core, anyway. Uh, okay, so we're lacking these. We're lacking these. Now we should be able to make one. Beautiful. Okay. All right, look at that. And here we go. So boom, 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 boom. All right, and then if we throw our bow, perfect. All right, so what's the next thing we should craft up here? Um, so a bow that maybe, a, maybe the sword wouldn't be a bad idea. All right, we can go ahead and do that. Perfect, our bow is ready. So let's go one, two, three, four, five. And we're gonna need the four cores. Um, and then probably we'll make another four just in case. We're gonna make this while we're here. All right. And I think we got just enough <laughs> to make it. So I'm going to need to fight some more uh, Ender Dragons here. Uh, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Now let's see here. All right, and then should be another star. Perfect. All right. Hmm. Unfortunately, guys, it looked like our stuff lost the enchants. So we're not going to be able to do that. Um, but we're still going to carry on making the sword, but we're down to three, which is not a good thing. 
We're going to lose looting. Actually, I'm going to see if I can pull the enchants off of this before, because there's some pretty good enchants on this thing. Um, so let's come over here to our disenchanter. Okay, uh, we're going to need to get more books first off. All right, book. Oh, look at that, 43. We got plenty of books for this. Let's see. Okay, so get those in there. Can we pull them off? <gasps> we can, but we're going to need levels. So we're going to take looting three off. We're going to take sharpness five. All right, I'm going to need to get some more experience, which we should have plenty of. Now, the cool thing is I didn't know this. If you just shift click, it automatically adds it to your level, which is cool. You don't have to keep clicking it, which is annoying. Uh, we're going to take soul stealer, and then we're going to take reaper. Perfect. That way we don't lose any of the chance like we did. Uh, I didn't realize that until after I had already done it. Oops, we're, we're back. So let's see here. If we throw the sword in, should be good to go. Perfect. All right. All right, guys. So I think that a great test for the bow and the sword is to ferret up against a wither. Now we're going to see how well this does, but real quick... Uh, there we go. Armor and held items. That way our armor will stay at 100% during this fight. And so will our bow. So let's see here how well we do. Okay. Holy cow, we just annihilated him. Uh, we added another star to our <laughs> collection of 5,000. Oh my gosh, guys, that was freaking awesome. I did miss a few arrows. These are pure energy, by the way. Um, if we look here, we use quite a bit of power. Um, but while I have that on my mind, because we have the, um, where did they go? The infinite booster card. Um, let's go ahead and see about making uh, a wireless terminal for applied energistics right before okay here we go let's see here we need a security terminal okay so what do we need for that 16k we can get a 16k going just need one that should be quick and then we also need a processor should be able to craft that up that'll be nice and fast all right boom dense energy cell perfect all right now, let's go here. We need another ME terminal. We can do that. Oh, just enough. And where's our energy cell? There it is. All right. If I, yep, that, that'll charge it. Perfect. That's cool. Um, now we need a wireless access point, which I believe is just one of these. Yep. Perfect. Now let's see here. Let's place this down. This should be infinite, so I have no idea how much power this is going to take. Hopefully it takes no power, but we might not be that lucky. Wait, what can we use this for? Oh, we need to make one of those. And are you going to connect? Boom. Now let's see. Oh, I guess you can't put that in there. Well, what's the use for this then? Insert into an infinity booster card into the WCT wireless crafting terminal. I don't know. Um, hmm. I couldn't tell you. Let's see about making some of the range upgrades, though. No, we're not using that. We're using this. Perfect. So now, guys, we have access to our items throughout our whole base, which is amazing. So, all right, let's see how far away we can go. Ready? Okay, yeah, we need to back it off, because that's using a bunch of RF that we'll never need to use. So let's head on down here. All right, and we'll tone that down for a second. Probably take like eight out. Yeah, we'll take nine out. All right, guys, but that's going to wrap up the episode for today. I hope you did enjoy the episode. I sure did. We did get our draconium stuff. It's pretty cool. The sword is awesome. The bow is awesome. We melted that guy. 
Oop, that was pure power. But anyways, guys, I hope you did enjoy the episode. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. But guys, it's been Super Turtle, and I am out. Peace out. Bye-bye.